Yo, what's going on, people? It's your boy Just. You know what I mean? This is Global Unlimited Podcast. We back again with another with a, another uh, special guest, man. We got my man Pito in the building from 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 the town, man. You know what I'm saying author, entrepreneur. You know what I'm saying um, uh, I would say activist, community activist. You know what I mean? Um, he does a lot in the community and everything, and just all around give back. You know what I'm saying, I guess you know. At a certain amount of time of doing certain things, you want to get back to your community, especially where you come from. You know what I'm saying? He's definitely one of those one of those people. You know I mean, your Peter, what's good with you, bro? What's going on, man? Oh man, I'm living, brother. Everything's good. No doubt, man. Yeah. Real quick, for those who don't know you, man, give me a real quick rundown. You know what I'm saying who you from, where you from. You know what I mean, who you, you know who you are, and everything. Let me know. All right. Um. Anyway, I'll go by Pito. Um. I'm from Trenton, New Jersey. I'm from Hudson Street. I grew up in Hudson and Pearl Street. Um, you know, I just, I'm right now, well, I'm an author as well of um, Duffel Bag Money Part One. Um, I do a lot, bro. I, I do a lot of things, man. I mean, I can't really put a title on myself, man. I'm like an entrepreneur. I'm a, shit, I'm, I'm, I'm a renaissance man, bro. <laughs> so I like that. <laughs> I'm just a renaissance man. So that's, you got the book out now. You know what I'm saying, like you said, duffel bag, um, duffel bag money, volume uh, part one, part one, you know birth of yeah. the uh, birth of the dynasty, which is which is bro, this book is crazy, man. Like, it's, it's real deep, man. You know what I mean, yeah, I, I, I know we talked a little bit before, you know what I mean, you know, a couple of times we came by the house and everything. Sure. So, what because you you come from the streets, basically, you know what I'm saying, you know, I know you come from the streets, but grew up on hustling pro, and they had the hustling and everything, yeah, you know what I mean, like. So what made you want to like get over those things and want to become an author? Like what, what made you want to start writing and everything? I mean, um, to be real, when I started writing my book, my well, the novels, I was in prison. I was serving a 20-year sentence with the um six year stipulation. Man did, you know, mandatory six years. So within that time, I was in prison, you know. Um, I was locked up for something for for you know, I got caught with a large amount of cocaine. And um, while I was in prison, I, I never, I never let loose. Like I kept going. You know what I mean? And um, and it's crazy because like <laughs> back then in prison, um, cigarettes was money. Right, right. Yeah. You know, so I accumulated so much, but at the same time, it was on, I didn't only get money from that because I, I, I was an artist, so I draw. You know, and when you're in prison, you got to find you got to find yourself a hustle, bro, because. I, I hated to, to bother my family for anything. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you, you know, personally, you know my wife, you feel me? You work with her. And, you know, and I was gone for a long time. My son was, you know, he was a little kid at the time. And I felt that I was like, damn, I left my family out there. I still, so I still got to find a way to provide for them. You know right. So I continued selling drugs in prison. And um, while I was in there, um, I bought, I decided to, I'm like, fuck, man, I got to do something. There's something I got to do because I needed to get my mind out of there. Like, because when you're in prison, you can get stuck in it. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you're not mentally strong, you can definitely come out fucked up with loose cannon, whatever. But I knew I had I had a mission because I had a family. I had people that, that looked up to me. I had a son. He was just a kid at the time. You feel me? And, you know, I wanted to do better. I'm like, damn. So, um. I, I decided to write a novel. I started off as a biography, but then you know I was like, nah, you know. You, you, you're telling me that you, uh, you started as a biography, but yeah. you're like, you're going to start missing no names and nothing like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. All. <laughs> you know, I, I just you know, is I, I ain't gonna do that. So, <laughs> you know I mean? so while I was in there, it, it was like, damn, what the hell am I writing about? Mm -hmm. So one day, you know, I, I I used to pick up books. I used to pick up a lot of Terry um Terry Woods books. She was like, okay. to me. You feel me, like. Because, you know, her books were sitting at the time. So I used to pick up her books like, damn, man, like, damn, they getting rich off of fucking books. Like, why can't I write a fucking story? Exactly. <laughs> I got motivated, bro. You know, I started, you know, I, I, talk, I, I was already nice to type in a little bit because, I, you know, I, I was pre before that I was in college and shit. But um, I had a typing class in college and everything. But then, I, you know, I, I taught myself how to type and how to format um, you know, do all the formats because I, I actually reached out to a publisher, publishing company, and they gave they sent me you know the, the book and stuff. So you know, learn how to format the book and everything. So right. I did, 
And every morning, every day I wake up, bro, I don't want to talk to nobody, man. I, I get up, do what I do. I go in the, in the yard. I say, what's up to a couple niggas, chop it up. I sit in my corner, I do my own work. I do whatever I'm doing. But in my mind, I'm playing my next chapter. What am I going to write about today? How, what am I, I mean, like, what would be good? So I started selecting characters. Like, I just started making up these characters. Like, man, who would be a good, who would play this role good for me? You feel me? If I was to ask him to play this role, if it became a movie, you know, because my, you know, so um, I just went off like that. I just freestyled the book, bro. It was just like freestyling, but it was at the same time, it was taking me out of my element, like where I was. Like I wasn't there. I was in a prison no more. Right, right, right. You was going somewhere else beyond those walls. Yeah. Yo, bro, I would, I would sit there. I had a double cassette CD player. I hustled, you feel me? And I had mad CDs. I was a CD man and cassette man. <laughs> I was bad, bro. Because look, I used, to, like, I used to get, I used to order church. The only way you can get cassettes in if you order to church. Right. So, you know, I said, I need cassettes. I got to get my hustle on. So I ordered church cassettes. They would send me packages of cassettes. Church. <laughs> you know, like, I don't listen to church. So I'll record over it and sell them off. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm a hustler, bro. It's, you know, you gotta, when you're in there, you got to hustle, bro. It's, you know, but making all sorts of shit, man. I sit there every night. My bonky watches TV. I smack the headphones on. I put a CD on, mm -hmm. um, my, my, you know, I would, yo, no lie that, um, the Guess Who's Back album by 50 Cent. Oh, okay. And Jay-Z, um, Reasonable Doubts. That's classics. how I see. Classics, yeah. And, and that's what the music I was listening to right while I was writing this book, bro. On repeat, bro. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because like. Certain songs took me, take me to certain scenes. You feel me? Like I felt the music, so you got to feel the music, and it's just, and I was feeling it. So that's what made me create the scenes I was creating. You understand know what I'm saying? Like the music took me out there. You know. Uh, um, yeah, I, want, I wanted to ask you earlier. Um, so the characters are are, they, are those characters fictional characters, or do actually people nah, that, I that you know? I, I use people's names that I know because. When I when I let them know about the book, whatever they asked me to put them in the book, so I was like, "Fuck all right, I'll use, all right, I use you off, but I'm gonna let you know I'm, I'm gonna kill you in the book." <laughs> you feel okay. me? <laughs> I'm telling you like you're gonna die in the book, though. You feel me? Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you in there, but you're gonna die in the book. I'm not gonna tell you what chapter or, or what book you're gonna die, in, but you're gonna die, and it's gonna be a horrible death. Or nigga, you feel me? And I, but you know, I add niggas, and if they want to be in there, I add them in there. Like, all right, cool, I add you in there. Name oh, so, so the names is real, but the characters themselves are, are not all not all are, are fiction. Yeah, just, or... just, just, yeah, people, I just okay. like. There's people I just created in my mind and stuff. You know I mean? Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I just, right. I just used them because I, I knew them, I know them, so I, I can use a little bit of they, you know, the reality into it. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't. There's nothing in it that is. You know what I mean. Oh no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> so so it's, it's a trilogy. So this is part one. This is I part mean, one. And uh, don't um. Don't tell me because I, I think I only I got a couple more chapters to go, so I gotta see how this shit oh, ends. No, I'm not gonna no, tell you. I'm gonna push your bubble. But they they get busy in this book though, but like it's a lot of it's you know what I'm saying it's, it's a lot of stuff going on. I mean, a lot of like I mean gangster shit. And also, bro, and it, 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 in some ways also it's a love novel, man. Like you got a lot of sex going on in this book too. When I created this novel, bro, you gotta understand too, though, man. I could like <laughs> excuse me, I was like I said, I was picturing a movie in my head. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It was, but, and, and I thought about people, like I said, like people, like I thought about like, say for instance, like maybe I, I thought about one of my guys, like, all right, fuck, like, you know, I played him in my, in my head like that. He'll be a girl, like he'll play this role good for me. So I use him as, you know, one of the characters, but like a lot of the characters in there was just people like, I, like I just made up in my mind, bro. Like this is, I just made them up in my mind. You feel me? Like I said, they be get busy with the guns and with the sex. Like I'm like, this nigga he got more sex in here. Than he <laughs> a little, little bit. <laughs> hey, bro, let me tell you, right? When you in that box, <laughs> when you locked up in that box for so many years, bro. And all you got is this. <laughs> you feel me? Nigga, like, bro, you gotta let that shit loose. Bro. That imagination gotta let it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah you gotta yeah. let it out, bro. And, and you know. You gotta let it lose, bro. So you know you gotta because I figured, like, man, it's, you gotta. I had to make it seem like 
I because when you read my novel, I want you to pick like I want you to picture everything that's going on, bro. Like, right. like I want it to run like a movie in your head. Yeah. I don't want you to pick up my novel and be like, oh man, this shit whack. You feel me? Toss my shit to the side. I don't nah. Because once you pick this book up, man, everybody that's picked this book up, bro, no lie, has not put it down when he first opened it, bro. And it was crazy. And and unfortunately, it took me a minute because like I'm just I'm just so busy. But I let my I let my stepdad read it. You know and I'm saying, yeah. and he read it in less than a week. He brought it. I gave him to like on a Tuesday or some shit like that. He brought it back that Friday and said, "I'm done." I'm like, yeah, like, damn, dog. Like, but it's that it's definitely. You know what I'm saying, it's, when I, whenever, whenever I do pick it up, I gotta read at least three or four chapters before I put it back down. Before right. I get tired, like damn, I can't. I'm gonna fall asleep. I don't want to fall asleep. Now I mean, in the middle of reading this shit, so let me put it down and pick it back up the next day or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, man, I mean, like, I have gotten, like, everybody that's read the book, bro, has given me, like, good ratings on it, man. And, and you know, that's that's very inspirational, too, though. And, plus, and it's crazy, because, bro, I even get, bro, no lie, I've gotten fan mails from prison, bro. You know what I mean? Fact, when did this book actually, when, when, did, when was it released? When was the exact release date? This was, this was just released this year. Okay. I wrote these books. Shit, I started 16 years ago, bro. Oh shit! And I finished them. And I finished. I started them in 2005. I got down state 2004, 2005. I bought. I, I bought my word processor. One of the guys for. I bought it for 110 packs of Black and Miles, bro. And um, <laughs> yeah, bro. And I, and I paid the sergeant a brick of Black and Miles to put it on my my account. You feel me? <laughs> it shit. It works like that in prison, bro. Like, yeah, jail, yeah, yeah. You, know, yeah. you got to pay. So um. Yeah, so, man, it's just crazy, man. Like, and people in prison are actually reading my books, bro. You understand what I'm saying? And it's like the prison I wrote it in, niggas. That's the that's the main prison niggas is really ordering from. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like niggas really like when I started in Southwoods, bro. I got, I've gotten more sales down Southwoods than I got in any other prisons. That's what's up. Southwoods and Trenton State Prison, bro, has been like. Like the two most prisons I sent to, I sent to Northern State. I sent to um even Edna, Edna um Texas prison in Texas, bro. I mean it's it's been found around, bro. It's been getting there. Yeah, bro. It's worth it. I mean it's, it's definitely a good read, bro. And I'm, I'm, like I said, I can't wait for part two and three to come out. You yeah. know what I mean, it's it's, so yeah, I'm not gonna bust your boat, but it's like it's part two deep, bro. Part two, <laughs> part, two part two deep. Part and one is the, like, who knows, who knows, who knows, who knows who haven't read it yet? Part one is the, like, the first, I said I'm on chapter 28, so the first 20, 27 chapters is deep. You know what I mean? So you got a release date for, uh, um, I, for part, part two? two? Nah, I haven't, um, actually put a release date out on it yet, bro, because I want, I want more people to read, to read part one. Okay. Because you know I, mean? I won't feel comfortable just, you know, like, few, I mean, little bit amount of souls and then, you know, like I want, I want a lot. Of, I want people. I want my book to be heard first. Like, before I want to be known first, bro. Before I release part two. Okay. okay. So I'm, I'm gonna give it a couple. Like, probably like I say by like my birthday, probably like October. I will release part two. Probably yeah. even before that. It depends how I feel. Yeah. You know I mean? But um, like I said, like part one has been getting a lot of high. Like I've been getting a high volume of of you know orders and. A lot of big ups, bro. Like I've really been getting a lot of big ups, man. You feel know I me? Mean? So, like I'm proud. Like it, it makes me feel good, bro. Like I'm proud of myself, man. I can accomplish another goal, bro. Oh, absolutely. And like you said, you changed your life a lot. You know what I'm saying it was was this last bid that you did really make you want to change your life? Because I know you said you did multiple bids, right? I did. I mean, I, yeah, I did a few bids. Um, what happened when I came home in 2000? I came on 2010. You feel me? But um, I was still, I mean, I guess I was, I felt lost, bro. Mm. Like, not lost in the sense of where I ain't had no sense of direction, but like, I felt like, like, my, I lost a lot, a lot of time. Right, right. You feel me? And I, I wanted to make up for that loss. So I was moving too fast, you feel me? I was just, I just, I just wanted to air out, and I, and I did. You know, I aired out, and and then I, in, in the midst of time, while I was on parole, because I was on parole for about damn near seven years. That's a long time to be on parole. Yeah, that's crazy. How they six years in a box and then another seven. People, all right, look, bro. It's crazy because my sentence was 20 years, bro. 20 with a six. Mm. And, bro, I was in the halfway house 
in Clinton House, actually. I was working. I was in college, working, doing everything I had to do. My man came for parole. Now, this nigga made every fucking eligibility, bro. Every time he go do a bit, he come on. Every first eligibility, he go, he gets a date. Mm. I'm like, how the fuck you always getting home, bro? He like, look. <laughs> he like, I'm gonna keep it real with you, bro. I tell everybody. He said, you can't let them crack his, You can't let them win, bro. He said, when you go in there, in front of them people, don't be afraid. Mm. Admit to your crime, bro. Because that's the first thing they want you to they want you to do is to admit to your crime. Don't fabricate nothing because everything's on paper. It's already there, yeah. So I'm like, all right, but then what? He's like, bro, when they give you the floor, please don't give the don't give them back the mic. Act like that's your shit, nigga. If you gotta shed tears, shed tears, bro. So I was like, you know what? I'm trying, nigga. I like, bitch, I got 20 years sentence, nigga. Like, <laughs> Because like, on, uh, on a max out on a 20 with um, like, like 18, right? 13 years. 13? That's with comp time. Because okay. they get the comp time from the door, depending on how much time, you know, if on your right. time, how much, whatever, however they do it. Because I know, that, you know with that 85% law, you doing it if, if you have no yeah, comp time. Yeah, but it's you're doing 85%, though. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. I got called with three birds. Ah, uh, shit. So it was a drug case. Okay. You understand? So I got the 20 years because my extended, I was extended term. Gotcha. So, and the turn got me the 20 in the back. You dig me? So, um, yeah, so I'm on the parole, bro. When I went in front of that board, man, I remember Pusha. I'm sitting there, bro. I'm, I'm niggas coming out. I'm in yard now. They, they sent me to yard to see these people. <laughs> um, yo, yo, you know, my you know, my grandma just passed away. You know, I, I would, you know, I thank God that the hospital, like the halfway house, allowed me to go to the hospital, bro, and you know, spend time with her and even go bury her too. Oh, okay, that's what's you up. know. I got transferred from Camden to, to Trenton, from, from Hope Hall to Clinton House. So I went to go see the people in Yardville. Man, I see niggas coming in there like, man, they just hit me, man. I just got a hit. I'm like, oh, shit, man. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know how the game goes, bro. <laughs> we got to listen. Like, nigga, we got to take, we got to smack these motherfuckers. Not, you know what I mean? Let's, this a little bit amount of people go. Right, right, right. Bro, man, I went in there, my nigga. All I can remember was what I, I prayed, bro. I, I, I sat there and prayed, nigga. Like I prayed, and I asked my grandma. I'm like, <laughs> grandma, you can hear me, baby. Like I need to come home. You feel me? Like help me. So um, I'm like, fuck. I gotta shake it off because I was nervous. So when they called my name, and I'm like, shit, it's my turn. So I goes in there. I let them people right in the eye. It was four of them, bro. Three in front of me, one on the side. Place my hands. I set. As a matter of fact, I put my hands on my knees like this, and I stand that easy. Attention, bro. They asked me questions. I'm looking at one. Yes, um, I committed this crime. Yes, this was back in such and such day and such and such. Yes, I did. That one would ask me another question. This one spit at me. And they're just coming at you, bro. So you got to be on point. So I'm on point with everything. Boom, 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 boom. So once they gave me the flow, bro, I just spit it to them, bro. I, I shed tears. I said, bro, I grew up without a father. My father's been in prison for the last seven my years. And he's still in prison. He won't know what I mean. And, bro, I just let loose. I just start. Tears coming out my eye, like, oh, y'all, you know, you uh, <laughs> No, nah, yeah, that's real and, shit. Bro, but look, so I, they told me to step out the room. I'm like, fuck, man, I'm, man, I'm scared as hell. I'm like, damn, man, what the fuck, man? I'm like, I, so I prepared myself, like, fuck it, bro. Like, what's the, what, what's the, what's the, the worst? Yeah, yeah. Like, what's the max that can hit me? Five, three, three to five years, it can hit me? Three years, I think it was the max of shit, some shit. I'm like, God, I'll do the three years, and then I'll fight for another date. So I do that day 10 years on my bed, like, fuck it, but you know, I had to do it. So um, when I go back in that room, bro, the man asked in the middle, he says, what do you think our decision was today? I looked him straight in the eyes, bro. And I said to him, I said, sir, I said, to be honest with you, if you, if, if, um, you want to be judgmental and judge me by what's on black and white, and if I had to judge myself, yeah, I would give myself a hit today. But if you judge me for the person that I have become throughout my journey and the person I am today, said so I would let myself go home and you know and be a successful um member of the community, whatever. You feel me? So mm -hmm. they looked at me, bro. And he said, Well, considering what you told us earlier and what you just said just now, we decided to give you a date to go home. 
money. Yes, The tears came up, started flowing out my eyes, bro. No I was, yo, what the fuck? So yeah, bro. I, they gave me a, I think it was like a three month date. It was like a three month date, bro. But I was, I was good though, cause I was in Clinton House. I was going to college, and 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 I was working in shop right, bro. I OC. A lot of people don't say, bro, I open a lot of lanes for people, bro. Right. Whether people see it or not. I was the first worker in Clinton House in ShopRite. Right? Okay. I, I was working there, and I just, you know, they see my, you know, that I was motivated to work there. So um, they asked me to put me aside, they, are there more guys that you can get us in? Because they knew I was in a halfway house. I kept the funky. You feel me? I'm, like, I'm, I'm in a halfway house. This is what's going on with you. And, you know, I got the job. So I'm like, yeah, I can probably bring some guys in because they wanted to uh, start a, a line of communication, like a line for halfway house. Have like a rehabilitation type stuff, I guess, like people working yeah. the job workforce. Yeah. Yeah. So um, so I opened up that lane for them, bro. You know, a lot of people and even like it's a lot of shit, bro. I, I, I done did, man, and and it's, it's a lot of sh- negative shit that I've done, and niggas done took a lane off of that. But it's also right. a lot of shit that I've done positive, like positive shit, where I inspired other people to do as well. And, and 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 you know that shit. When I look at shit like that, bro, like when I saw feeding the homeless a few years back, bro, mm-hmm. you know I, I like people would think that shit, I was doing that shit just you know to get clapped, whatever. But you judge me because you don't know me, right? You understand what I'm saying? If you knew who I was, like actually you don't know me personally, you understand why I was doing the shit I was doing. You understand what I'm saying? Because at one point I was out there poisoning my community. Yeah, he's out there in the streets hard. I mean, you telling me he's out there. Yeah, everybody know what I was doing. Like I've been yeah. doing it since I was nine years old, bro. Now you tell me, you're young out there. You started real young at an early age. 1987 for my pops. You didn't, mm-hmm. but I, I seen I seen the effect that it, it does to people, and, and and that shit like really touched me. Like once you open up your eyes, bro, and, and, and start realizing what's really going on out there in the world, and, and bro, you start feeling a certain type of way, right? You know what I'm saying? Because these are poisons, like. This shit that we we don't put in the community, you feel me? And and it's poison people, and and I was part of that, bro. Like I was a I played a major part of that for many many years. You then as like I said, it came from a place that we we had no control over. Like we like I said, we don't own no planes, no boats, none of that shit. But it was here though. And I mean, they, they, you know, a lot of times we a lot of people ain't had no other options. You know nah. what I mean? Either starve or find some way to get money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like and it's fucked up because like like in the city, man. It, there's there's no 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 help, bro. You can't niggas come home from jail and they got nowhere to go, nowhere to be, no, no, they don't got no no jobs, no money. You feel me? Uh-huh. None of that. And, and <clears throat> fucked up because there's no help, but they can't they can't go to the parole officer and be like, yo, can y'all give me a few dollars or whatever with you, with you, with you. knowing that provoking <laughs> they don't they don't care though, bro. Because most like, most time you come from parole or probation, you got a fine, you gotta pay a fine. So they want their money too. They want their money. They don't. They don't care about you, right? About what's going on with you. They want their money. You feel me? And it's sad, bro. Cause like they, they treat us like dirt, like shit. While we in there, mm-hmm. the food they give us in there, man. That shit, bro. They make that shit down Southwoods, bro. I heard that. Yeah, bro. I've been locked up a couple of times myself, but I never did no no, no state business like that. I just little county shit. You know what I mean? But the food is it was always yeah. terrible. Yo, bro, I, I was yo, I was there, bro, in a detail where they make this food at, bro, in big ass kettles, bro. Mm. They just dump the shit in there. And it, bro, mix that shit from the top. Let that shit cook, bro. That shit is nasty, bro. And they and then they bag that shit up in bags. Feel me? It, it, supposed to be airproof, whatever. And that's how they ship it out. They ship that shit out to all the prisons, bro. That's crazy. Big money, man. It's big money. Big, big, big money, bro. Big money. Now, big money. I mean, I'm not because I heard of you before through Cat. I'm somebody next to me and Cat to work together and shit. I mean, yeah. also heard 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 about you through uh, my man True Khan. Shout out to True Khan as well. Yeah, that's my I boy. Mean, you know that. And that's how that's when we actually first met because you came up to the spot to the building we was looking at over home on Princeton yeah, Avenue. Yeah, yeah. Yo, you see, yo, the thoughts that was going through my mom when you first jumped out the car and you had the, the jumper suit on. I was like, this nigga escaped from jail. Like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at Quan, I'm looking at you, Quan, like, uh, J. Car, like, what is you doing? Hey, bro, like, who, is this, who is this nigga? Yo? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was because look, bro, that was the um the day of the riots. Right, yeah. Remember I was like we're going down in the protest. Protest, yeah, I'm really sorry. That was the day of the I had to jump up for the county jail, bro. Still that shit for the county jail. They bagged me last year for fucking yo, bro. 
they, these police hate me. They hate me so much, bro. Hmm. They found boric flakes, bro. Boric flakes. Right. And charge me like cocaine. So now they, they no, they, that's what I got locked up for. They came out on paper and everything. Oh, but they didn't, they see, but but look, if you ever if you read the article in the paper, they never mentioned how much drugs you feel me, how much mm-hmm. drugs was found. None of that. Usually, you know, when they found that much larger amount, you know they blow that shit up. They blow it up, yeah. They put that in yeah, the paper. Yeah. Well, when I got down to that station, I'm like, yo, what are y'all charging me with? It was like, wait, I'm um, drug, cocaine. I'm like, cocaine, like the fuck you mean cocaine. Bro, I seen him pull out that bag. I'm like, bro. I said, man, that's not no fucking cocaine, bro. <laughs> I'm like, bro. I'm like, y'all don't know. I'm, I'm like, y'all know that shit ain't no. Yo, shit was so fucking shiny, bro. Like, I'm like, yo, that's not cocaine. So one one cop came in, and fucking one of the niggas. Oh man, I'm gonna smell it, but I don't want to fuck my life up. I'm like, bro, smell it all you want. Say, bro, look, just go fucking like die, bitch. That's poison. <laughs> so, like, so they really charging me with this shit. I'm like, bro. I'm like in my head, I'm like, yo, are these fucking, are they fucking rookies? Are they just dumb or they just fuck? But you know, I already knew I'm like, because I heard the one lady, she was like, fuck him, I don't like him anyway. Right. They're trying, they're, trying, they're trying to do something on you, yeah. Yeah, so I'm like, you know what? Are they really gonna charge me with this shit? So they sent me to the county general and all that. So I had to get my lawyer, had to give a sample of this shit, take it to court, and explain to the judge. I explained to the judge what it was. I'm like, bro, I, I buy property. I buy band of property and we use that shit to exterminate. You feel me? That's right. To get rid of the, the insects and all that type of stuff and all yeah. of the, 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 uh, the feces. I don't know. Yeah, doing. so, you know, that's what we use. That's what we use in the band <laughs> house because, bro, the band will be fucked up, bro. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, you know, we, 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 they got some shit in there, boy. I don't fuck with the raccoons and big ass rats be running around in there. Bro. You know what? I stay over here at North Trenton and shit. It's, it's a Ben house right across the street from me. I think I was telling you. It's yeah. a family of raccoons. Oh, yeah, the family right of raccoons. A, right across the street. Like, that's, those, those are neighbors, bitch. That's their crib. Bitch. Yeah, be like that, bro. Hurry up. Yeah, man. So, yeah. I, you know, I got into that too, to um, buying houses, properties, and shit. Yeah. So, you came because you came, So, when you first came home, was that was your first intent to get into that business, or are you just like, you know nah, what you wanted to do at first? When I first came home, bro, I didn't have like, I had like so many visions, bro. But it was just like I wasn't. I guess I wasn't prepared. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like I, I was. I was motivated, but then like my ambition wasn't there though. Right. You feel me? And it took me a long time, bro, because I was going through so much personal, like shit, personal, like at home and shit issues and whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. And it was like that shit. It just turned my life to another. Like you just. Whole 360, bro. Like it just flipped my whole life around and shit. You feel me? And then you know I had to like um, I had I got oh yeah I got I got locked up again. Me and my man we got locked up back in what was I think it was 2014. 2014. It's crazy because this yo know, police hate me so much, man. When they raided us in my crib, they only found like not even an eighth of weed, bro. One Z- it was one Xanax pill on top of my refrigerator, bro, that I didn't even fucking know about. Yo, bro, that shit been up there like... <laughs> I, like, I didn't know what the fuck it was. It was a fucking... I had mold in there and everything, huh? <laughs> I don't... Bro, I don't pop no pills and shit. I was on parole at the time. So, um, they raided us, but during that raid, they, they, they got my man. They found a lot of drugs and shit, whatever, but they want him to say the drugs was mine. Yeah, they want you to go back. They, down, everything yeah. is Pito. Everything is Pito. So my man, like, nah, bro, that's my shit, bro. Like, I'm not, nah. So, um, yo, bro, I, I, it was like a, he made like 37 minute statement, bro. Mm. And he was like, no, bro, not none of that shit belongs to Pito. None of that shit belongs to Pito. Oh, well, if you let tell us it's Pito shit, we'll let you go right now. We nah, 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 we do. He's oh, like, shit. Yeah, it's in mind, bro. Like. And he admitted to his own shit for 37 minutes, bro. Like, he was manning up his own shit. Yeah. Robin Lord, she, she, you know, when I was fighting my parole hearing in Kraft, um, because it was, you know, they tried to... Um, violate you on parole, too, right? Yeah, so, yeah, they tried to violate me. So I fought my hand. I'm like, hell no, nah, y'all ain't going to... Bitch, I'm going to fight my hearing. So, um, because the only thing they found in my crib was a little bit of bud, bro. I never gave him a dirty yarn. I kept a right. job. I was in college. I was working and all that shit. So I never gave him a problem. So what was it? Oh, if I would have given him a dirty yarn... That would have been my first dirty yarn, but I never yeah. did. It would have been on five for you. Like, yeah. yeah, so I was already on parole for what, about 
I want to say this was 2014, about almost yeah, four years. This some change, and um, I never gave him no nothing, no reason to violate me. So um, I, 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 I beat the hearing. They sent me to Northern State, and then I had to wait for the decision. So they sent me back to the county jail to fight this charge, the, the charge I was pending on. The drug charge. <laughs> my man, like, bro, my man turned off from the door. He took the weight for everything. Like, we don't got nothing to do with my drugs. You feel know I me? Mean? So, you know, that shit helped me out a lot, though, bro. That's my man. Yeah. He's shit. You feel know I me? Mean? And, you know, that's my man, bro. Like, Is he still locked up or? Nah, he home. Oh, okay. He from LA Frontera. He got the store. You know, Which one? The um on Tyler and Clinton Avenue. Okay, all right, all right. I know about that. Yeah. Yeah, so you know, we got we got the store there and shit, you feel me? So he's he doing all right. He bought it from the um from the Chinese people? Nah, it was some pop he had it, some pop nigga had it, then um he got it off of him. Oh okay. so with Poppy. And then um yeah, nigga bounced to Florida or some shit. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I, mean, I don't know what happened, bro. So, so, so what, what made you start getting into real estate? Like, what, what was the purpose of like, like, you know, what was the thing behind that? I, um, 2016, I got when I maxed out on parole, I was working at this job out, um, up in, um, that South Brunswick. Mm -hmm. I was working at this job. Make it all so short, man. I got fired on some fuck shit, bro. Like, hating, bro. People hate it because I, I, I accumulated so much time. And they were saying that I was paying my super. They were saying they were saying I was paying my supervisors off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, I only get two like two hundred dollars bonuses a month, bro. They was mad <laughs> because I was making bonuses every month. I was only there for nine months, every, and seven months straight, I was getting a bonus check every month. Right, right. <laughs> like, how does they get all this bonus? Because I go to the work. I don't come to play. You feel me? So anyway, making long so short, I. I I got fired, started collecting unemployment. So I started working with my cousin. We had, you know, he had a garage, so you know, I used to run the garage room or whatever. We used to be over there in the garage. So sitting there one day, I'm like, damn, man, like, man, I'm bored. Like, I gotta do something in my life, man. Like, fuck this, mm -hmm. bro. So then I said, you know, I start thinking about my future, bro. I start thinking about my future, planning my future. Like, I can't, I can't stay stuck in these streets, bro. Like, yeah, they, they swallow a nigga whole, man. If she's done, listen. Uh, the streets ain't got no losses, bro. Nah, you know what I, mean? bro. I lost a lot. I lost, I lost a lot. Of, um, I mean, like you feel me, but that's another. That's another story. But I, I, I couldn't stay out there, man. Like I was like, fuck that, man. I'm not gonna lose my life. I, plus, I got a little one coming up. You feel me? Like I want to set a good example. You did me so. I, 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 I bought, I bought my first crib. I was online one day. Like I said, I was born in the crib. Going, I wanted, um, I think it was Zillow. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. and. I seen a couple of cribs, and I seen I seen one for ten. It was like ten thousand. At that time, you know, it was a few cribs at, at the time for that price. Yeah, from uh, the, the her, her houses and stuff. Yeah. So I went to check the crib out. Called my man up. He was real estate agent. I'm like, yo, bro, I'm gonna go check this crib out. You know what I mean, I might need you to help me get it. Whatever. I went to go check out the key. Like, go ahead. I'll give you the passcode. I went in the crib, checked it out. I'm like, fuck it, I'm a copy. I'm like, yo, bro, like, um. What you think I can get this shit for, bro? He like, you know, from five, six thousand dollars, bro. I like make the all right, well, offer it for me. That's my offer. Make the offer, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's my offer, whatever. So he hit me back, like, yo, six thousand dollars. I'm like, all right, what do I gotta do? He like, I need a thousand dollars down. I'm like, all right, you wanna check the cash? He like, I need a check. <laughs> like, I need to check. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get a paper check. Yeah, that's the paper check. <laughs> yeah, so I went to, yeah, I went to the bank, got a cashier's check. So I gave to him, I need, you know, the proof of a per, um, funds or whatever. So I went to the bank, asked him for all that. I bought the house for 6000 bro. And um, I started fixing it. I just went in on it, bro. Mm. I went in. I, yo, bro, I, I, yo, I knew nothing about, like, I knew a little bit about carpentry, bro. This much, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so I started looking around, like, yo, what the hell I got myself into, bro? Like, I'm like, Damn. I'm thinking like six thousand dollars. Like, what the fuck, six racks to? Like, I ain't lose nothing. I'm, you feel me? Like, exactly. This, this blow that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, man, six racks. I'm like, all right, oh, shit. You feel me? So, um, I just started buying shit, bro. Like, what shit I need? Like, I'm right, the sheet rock. I'm mean, this, that, and third. So now I plugged in with this dude. Man, 
That nigga bless me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> make, man, let me make a long story short, man. I got everything for nothing, bro. Everything I did for nothing, and I, I fixed the house up, man. I um, I, I, I turned that shit into a beautiful home, bro. And I got I built a studio in the basement, music studio. Feel me? I used to I used to um shelter homeless people at one point, okay. bathing, bathing, anything. Like in the wintertime where they had nowhere to sleep at or whatever, I let them sleep in there. That's when I was running while I was renovating too. You feel me? And um, you know, I let them bathe, whatever. <clears throat> you know, they can stay out the streets and shit. And then that's at that that's when I started. Um, giving back, you know, to the community, like what really motivated me to give back to the community. You feel me? When I stepped, when I stepped out, the, like the, that lifestyle, it, and I just started looking from the outside in. Right. You feel me? That's when I just like, you know what? Let me start giving back, man, because these are the people that got me what I got. You feel me? At one point in life, you dig me? Right. They told you, they used, like, you know, some of your customers back in the day, maybe. Yeah. maybe you know. Yeah, for real, bro. Like, I saw. I decided to give back. So you know. I, I would do that shit a few times a year, like, and it's crazy with the love people give, though, bro. Like, I'll just come on Facebook and ask for donations. People will pop up with mad shit, bro. I won't even have to spend a dollar sometimes, bro. That's you for sure. And and you know that that shit that's that that also is encouraging and motivating, and motivating. You know what I mean, like, m motivated motherfucker to keep doing that. You yeah. Know? Yeah, man. So, so I'll you the. How many properties you own now? Are you like mainly just buying and flipping, or are you buying and renting? No, no, I don't. I don't, I don't. I don't flip. I, I rent. I rent out. Okay. I rent out. Um, you know, and man, I'm. I, I look out for people, bro. Like you feel me? Because I, I remember me growing up and I having nothing, bro. You feel me? And now that I got a little something, I, you know, I, I do my best to look out for people, bro. Absolutely. I mean, I'm not. I got. I mean, I had to slow down with that shit because people take advantage too, though. You gotta be know? careful. Yeah, yeah. You got a good heart, bro. You know what I mean, people. Yeah, people take advantage of that shit. And then when that good heart, that that you know how that fuse busts and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 so fuse, man. Good heart niggas got short fuses. Yeah, so that's fuses, why yeah, yeah. I, I, take shit, I take shit so personal, bro. Like, I don't, I don't cross you, don't cross me. Bro. You feel me? Exactly. Exactly. Because when you cross me, then that's. Now I got I got no choice but to react. Yeah, and I don't like doing that. A lot of times it leads you back to the same situation you want to be in, far as yeah, prison exactly. or whatever. You know yeah. what I mean? So no, nah, that's good. that's a beautiful thing, bro. You know what I mean? So we jump to jump the subject real quick. Let's get on this pedo TV shit, bro. What's up with that, man? <laughs> <laughs> Hey yo, check it out, bro. <laughs> that shit wasn't even my idea, bro. <laughs> yo, that's crazy, right? Cause look, I remember back then, you know, we used to be in Ann's place and shit. We used to be in Ann's place and Martinez. And you know, I used to catch all the action, bro. Right, right. Right. Like, I don't know, yo, bro. I don't even know what the fuck made me start doing that shit, dog. Matter of fact, no bullshit. I'm gonna tell you how this shit started. <laughs> it was my first viral video. <clears throat> I was coming off of um, what's that? Elmer Street. Elmer Street. Uh -huh. It's coming up onto Hudson Street. I bust that sharp right roof quick, and there's two niggas walking in the middle of the street. One of them said some slick shit, bro. <laughs> but I, you know, I turned the corner, but I stopped. So the nigga said some slick shit. <clears throat> I said, "What, nigga?" I got out the car. I'm like, what you say to me, nigga? Like, but when he took his hoodie off, I'm like, it was fucking LP. <laughs> I'm like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? But he's like, y'all, oh, Pito, see, it was him and Foley, right? So we out, out there and shit. I pulled up, I'm like, oh shit, what's good? What, what, what? So LP, like, y'all be right back. I'm about to handle something. But the way he said it, like, <laughs> like the handle, he about to handle, you feel me? Exactly, like, she about to get real. I told him, what about to do, but he like, I think he about to go fuck somebody up inside the crib. I'm like, think this should go come outside? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, bro, look. On everything I love, right? <laughs> this shit was like meant to be because, right, I had just bought this fucking phone the day, the day before. <laughs> the night before, and I'm playing with this fucking phone. I didn't even know how to play with the camera, nothing, bro. Right? So I'm like, yeah, so, bro. Next thing you know, I, I got the camera, 
And I'm talking, I'm like, yo, I think we're about to be some bad shit playing around, you feel me? <laughs> but I got the camera, I didn't know how to flip the shit, though. Then I hear, bro, I didn't know who Craven was, none of that shit. I just run up in the house. I hear scuffle. Man, I go in the room, I hear this nigga, man, this nigga hit the four with three. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> like, oh, but I'm like this, though. <laughs> I'm, like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm on selfie mode, like, oh shit, you feel me? Because the nigga, I, I, the girl was only like 14 years old, some shit. Oh shit! But I don't know what happened though. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? But I had to really look at the way because nigga was like, yo, that nigga got a hard on. I'm like, hard on, like the fuck? I ain't looking at him. But when I'm looking at the video, you can see the jump. Now we got the little. I think he got the punch in the feet. Still, still, still. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, he took the L. He got the line. I'm like, oh, he's a monster. He must have been tearing that little shit up. <laughs> no, 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 no. But you feel me, like, so look, I, I posted a video on Facebook, bro. So my man, um, fucking Angel Maldonado, Repo Angel. <laughs> yeah, he said, yo, make this shit public. I said, yeah. I'm like, that, bro, why the fuck I do that? Nigga, within the next hour, bro, all I hear my phone, my, my tone going bling, bling, <laughs> bling, 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 like a video game. I'm like, what the fuck going on with my phone? Like, all these notifications coming on Facebook. Bling, bling, bling. <laughs> bro, no lie. I must have got over two, it was like 2,300 friend requests in like, 24 hours, bro. <laughs> Blow your joint up. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck going on here? Then yo, now nah, but check it out though. This 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 how I got um I, I see somebody shared the video from on World Star from World Star. <laughs> I look at they like people your video on World Star. I'm like, huh? My video on World Star. I'm like, oh shit, where? But now I see a nigga name on it like um posted by P Smooth. Man, who the fuck is Peace Move? <laughs> my name ain't Peace Move. My name ain't Peace, though, bitch. <laughs> so look, I'm searching online, man. I'm like, who the fuck is this? Man, I'm doing my research on Peace Move, dog. Found him. I'm like, bro, you um, shut my video. Da, 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 da. I'm like, yeah, I went for World Star. Wookie, wookie, woo. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, bro, that's my video. Nigga, give my credits. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Um, hey, yo. Peace, I know he, he gonna probably be watching this. Shit. <laughs> yo, the nigga gave my credits, right? I'm like, all right, now, boom. So from there on, bro, I just started catching everything. So now I'm only watching this, so I'm sending videos. Boom, look, bitch, I got this. He's like, all right, bro, bro I'm posting your shit tonight. I'm posting your shit tonight. I got you. Posting your shit. I'm like, yo, bro, I remember one day, bro, in one week, nigga, I probably got like seven world stars in one week, bro. Damn. Man. I was in the <laughs> Yeah, bro. And, and, and then now, but look, my little little man from on GCL, we at um, we at an aunt's place one night, so he like, man, p- nigga, you Pito TV, <laughs> like nigga, you Pito TV. I said Pito TV. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna use that. <laughs> he like, man, you ain't gonna use that. I'm like, man, hey, Tom, I swear on anything I love, but I'm gonna use that. I'm like, I'm, I'm, that's going to be my new shit, Pito TV. And, and, and that's how I, was, I created Pito TV. Because I started going viral. And then once I created Pito TV, it just started going viral on everything, bro. You feel me? Oh, man. Because you, you, you also, you, you want to get the fight down in um, oh, South Rio. Rio. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that big fight down there. Oh, man, that was crazy that night, bro. <clears throat> it, it, yo, it was crazy because, like, I had the bit action from inside to outside. <laughs> it's crazy, you know. It's crazy, you know, bro. <laughs> like we see from the spots like that, niggas be like, "Oh shit, this Pito in the building. Don't get put on Pito TV. <laughs> Don't get put on Pito TV." You feel me? So I was like, "Oh man." So you know, I just keep, you know, this something pop off, nigga. I'm like, "Oh, so I should be fight on shit, bro." Like, boom, nigga. Let me get this. So people's like, "Watch out, let me go through. Let me get that." <laughs> and just, like, I was getting green light on anything, bro. Like, everything was green lighted. Like, let's shit out my way. You compete, though. You should let me get all the action. 
<laughs> people wanted to share. You feel me? The motherfuckers is crazy, bro. Like, yeah, shit. bro. Niggas yeah. want to see that shit. That shit was off the hook too, bro. Like, yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, especially that that was the, that, that that fight was huge down there too. Well, I mean, now that was a huge fight, but the thing was that you know, um, police couldn't control the crowd, so I wasn't I, at that time. You know, I wasn't even beefing with the Jake Sound think at that time. Oh, that's why they started fucking with you because you. <laughs> well, I mean, that was part of it. That was part of it. But the other thing was too the art on night, the situation at art on night. Yeah, when well, no, I'm the, the shooting over there, uh, yeah, about three years ago, it was about like three yeah, years ago, right? that right there too really got them niggas on my heels because I, I recorded from how everything started. Mm. You feel me? Because it started over two two nobodies. It was about to fight. But the shit was under control. Right, right. You know, you know how police is they 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 want to find anything to shut shit down. So the one nigga um Bender, he had the dog. So he's trying to you know scare everybody with the dog. But the shit was already over with. I mean, niggas like you know, police like they ain't. I mean, you know, niggas ain't gonna fight in front of the police. Niggas yeah, don't, don't court to. Yeah, don't need to. Like, just wanna be loud mouth in front of the police. You know how these niggas is. They not. They not people. I'll punch a nigga right in front of the police. I don't care. But not that ass. But these niggas, you know, it was just going with it. Blah, 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 whatever. Shit was shut down already. So now these police, especially the bandit, he's telling everybody, get out, get out. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm recording. I'm like, yo, chill. Like, it's cool. It's over with. He's like, everybody get the fuck out. He's like, you go to the fuck inside or get out. I'm like, he's like, it's shut down. I'm like, yo, bro, nigga, it's only one o'clock in the morning. It's all all night. Can't just shut the shit down, bro. So I'm arguing with this nigga. So he, they, they, they packing everybody into the building. Into the building, yeah. Like, either you go in the building or you got to leave. You expect everybody, a thousand motherfuckers is going to that little ass fucking hole in the wall, bro. Yeah, that building ain't but so big. Yeah, so now they're shoving everybody in there. So when I walked, I was like, fuck it, I'm recording. So when I walked into that thing, so when I walked up in there, that's when the weed man just came home. Yeah, because he got he got a, he got a video out for it on it too. Yeah. Yeah, he was on my right hand side, so he was to the right hand side. So I stopped at his little stand, talked to him real quick, chopped it up. So then I walked up, that's when I seen Norvin and I'm um standing there. And um I said, What's up, Norvin? Kicking it, boom, 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 real quick. I mean, and so I'm like, right, it was me and my girl who stepped off. So I stepped off. And um, bro, as soon as I stepped off, nigga, like, hit a couple. I just want to hear the gunshot. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah. Nigga, my, like, it was so fast. Like, I'm looking for my girl. Like, what the fuck my wife got? Like, what the fuck? Nigga, no one in sight. So I ran back into the crowd. Right. I ran back into the crowd. And, I, you know, I got the camera rolling. So I'm becoming like, oh shit, like niggas is really hit. Feel me? So when I got to um towards the back door, cop coming in. Now it's mad, you know, regular civilians coming in in there surrounding shit. Cop come, no people, get the fuck out of here. Uh, um, <laughs> all you want to do is make money off this shit. I'm like, make money off of what, bro? I don't nigga, like, yeah, I'm like, my shit popping. So I'm like, like oh, no. I'm like, bro, like, I'm so I'm like beasting with this nigga. Mind you now, my guy shot outside. He he, he lost his life. And they didn't argue with you. And he argued with me, bro. Like, I'm like, man, y'all just this I'm not trying to see what's going on my guy. Like, he coming, oh, get the fuck out of all this crazy shit. But I'm like, oh man, these niggas, but I'm saying, I'm out of here, bro. Like, all right, you feel me? It was just crazy. It was a crazy night. That's crazy. Yeah, I we did that. We did right before everything kicked off, like right before all that shit kicked off, the fight and everything kicked off. Yeah, you know, me, my wife, my my son, and everything was out there, and then by the time we got home, that's when we heard what happened. Like, oh, it's like you know, we was we was just down there. Like, oh, this shit crazy as hell. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, bro. It was it was it was that shit was crazy, bro. And and it was crazy, bro. Like the crazy part about it was that I actually when I got home, I text Norman. I hit him in the inbox. I'm like, yo, bro, I hope you good. You feel me? Mm. And then yo, the next month, day, man, niggas hit me like, yo, you know that was noise. I'm like, what? I'm like, oh man. Yeah, see, I, I, shit happened just that quick, bro. Over the, yeah, nonsense, bro. Over the nonsense, man. A lot of times it's over the nonsense, yo. Uh, yeah. A lot of shit that could have been prevented a long time ago. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't like keep it. I don't know what transpired that night, like, bro. I, I never asked so quick. Like, I don't. You feel me? But yeah, you know what I mean, like, it's crazy, man, with this gun violence shit, bro. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. It's, 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 I lost my brother through gun violence, you feel me? And it's like, should be hard, my nigga. Like, yeah. You dig me? Nah, I definitely understand. I can, I, can, I can relate, you know what I'm saying? I, just, I lost my brother years ago through violence. It wasn't gun violence, but it was violence. You know, he got in a fight with somebody. He beat the dude up, you know what I'm saying? Then the nigga came back with a knife and stabbed him. You know what I mean? Like, shit was crazy. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, violence, I mean, unnecessary violence, period, bro, is, 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 is just unnecessary. That's what, that's the whole point of saying unnecessary violence. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, well, we, that's not, that's a whole nother conversation, man. I know you all, yeah, you all yeah. to that as well. You know what I mean, but you got, you got somebody over there sitting by, beside you. Would you introduce yourself? Oh, that's my son. son. Yeah, it's my son right here. Let me introduce him to y'all, bro. Jay. This is my son, Swan J. Swan J. Two Fourteen. Probably not, so you know what's going on. This, you know what I mean? He raps and shit. Feel me? Yeah, man. You know I do my little rap and shit. How this nigga coming out the town, rapping my hood. You feel me? All right, no doubt. You go. I remember you little ass running around. You know what I'm saying, you know, you look that, you look, you had all that, all that face and hair and shit. You know what I'm saying? He's about like eight, nine years old and shit. <laughs> Last time I saw you, nigga. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How long? How long you been spitting, man? Let me see. How long you been doing your thing? Man, for real, for real, like, my mom, like, I was always good at, like, English and shit, like, you feel me, like, telling stories, you feel me? Mm. So my dad was locked up at the time, you feel me, I grew up without my pops, so it was just me and my mom, you feel me? So, shit, like, mom sounded down, you feel me, but shit was still hard at the end of the day, you feel me? So, it was like, I was probably in middle school, bro, probably like 6th, 7th grade, and okay. I had to spend it, so... I ain't even remember this shit, but I got suspended. So, you know, my mom came to my room, took all my shit, going through my shit, and she found a notebook where I was writing raps in that notebook that whole time. <laughs> I'm not even really realizing it. And my dad could even tell you, I was young as hell, and I was just like, remember baby punning and shit and just spitting and shit. And he like, yo, what the fuck? Like, so yeah, this nigga, he was like, bro, he, it was crazy because he had like, if you write in a book, I put that in the book. Like um, I was about to say this in the book too. You do uh, yeah. um, uh, a little, a little cute get in the car. He yeah, because you know, I, 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 mean? I, I, I thought about him, mm. and I remember he used to always play that pun CD. Pun CD, no pun CD, but he used to be in the back seat spitting puns lyrics. I'm like, mm. damn, like how the fuck he catch that? I don't even know what the fuck pun saying. You feel me? And he catching anything pun saying. So I, I remember one time when he was a kid, he used to be like, "Hey, dad." I, Get me in the studio. Get me in the studio. So I'm like, man, this nigga ain't in the studio. <laughs> you know what I mean? I used to take it as a joke. Like, yo, this nigga had this one song, bro. What's the name of that shit again? Which one? First, the one that they had my first concert. Nah, nigga. The one we shot the video for the first video. Bro, the Dookie song. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me tell you about this. Bro. Bro. Let me tell you about this, right? All right, so, <laughs> so we still in middle school, right? So I'm like, I'm like eighth grade now. It's summertime. You know, I'm now smoking my uh my man's. You feel me? We ain't that close no more, but you know that's something my boy. You feel me? But we was just sitting there. I'm like, yo, like, but nah, because it really started. What was the name of that song you're doing? Tongue in the Dookie. Oh, because it started in the Dookie hole, we was bro. On, <laughs> yeah, we was on the bus on the baseball team. We was on the bus going to a game. So, <laughs> my boy Jason, that was on the team. Some Shout out Jason. Shit, he, he just said, uh, you're the dookie holder. Like, oh, <laughs> <time. laughs> hey, this nigga had a song. Bro, so look, I got my look, look. In the dookie Yo, look, I swear <laughs> to God, my nigga. Like, so my man, some freak boy <laughs> shit. You remember uh, Uncle Jay? He on smooth I got my tongue in the dookie hole. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> But look, I'm in my man spot. It's something to break now. I'm like, yo, like, I wrote a song to this shit. You feel me? In English class, like, you feel me? Like, so I'm like, yo, I wrote this shit. We did it to the uh, the Soldier Boy instrumental, uh, Pretty Boy Swag. Okay. Yeah. So, you feel me? He got the little camera. You feel me? I went out there. We played it on the phone. I'm just like rapping this shit on top of a car, like just dumb. Yo, they had a video. They had a video we for made this. A video for bro, this they had a video on YouTube, bro. Oh, I, shit. I read the comments, dog. Somebody said somebody they need to take this down because the 
that is so nasty. <laughs> and but the lyrics, bro, I mean, it all flowed, bro, like hey, a yo, song. Honestly, I'm like, I'm gonna see if I can get that video back. So, uh, yeah, that's a class. That's probably a classic, bro. There as well. Yeah, I, probably, I probably should have left that up there. I probably would have been showing me. That probably would have Yo, that shit that. was crazy, bro. Yeah, don't have Well, God. listen. I could, I, I, you know, because I also got, I got a radio show too. You know what I'm saying? This is the podcast right here. I do like, yeah. all, all my authors and all that. So we got to link up on the radio show as well. You know what I mean? But I can't let you just go without you spitting me a 16 or something. You know what I mean? Like you, you said you rap and shit. You know what I mean? So you got to let me hear something before you bounce. You know what I mean? You got to let me hear something. I like it like that. <laughs> let me hear something. What you want to hear? Something. Spin down my clutch and I'm up and then I'm going to bust it like nothing. I don't care if he my cousin, he a pussy, so fuck him. Run him down, lay him down in his traps like it's nothing. Red beam on his head, take his top like a muffin. You know what I mean? Mm, okay, okay, so, okay. All right. So what you got, you got to see, what's your, um, yeah, I got social, on, YouTube, YouTube, what's, YouTube, what's your find you at? YouTube, Spotify, all that. You could, uh, my YouTube page is official 214. You feel me? We could just type in Juan G. Juan, you feel me? Space G E E two fourteen songs will pop up and shit. Same, uh, just put Juan G with just the G on iTunes and shit. Shit will pop up and shit. I got like probably like five six songs out, bro. But like I was showing my pops the other day, like in my I got a section of my where I write my songs in the phone. You feel me? Like mm. the ones done, the ones that's recorded, the ones that need the video, the ones I'm working on. Okay. The ones I'm working on, bro. I got like three hundred, bro. Then I got like 17 songs that I got recorded done already. Then I got like 18 songs that's written. I just gotta record. You feel me? Like so that means know what that means, right? Yeah, I'm just going hard with the shit. Probably. Time to get to work. Yeah, it's time to get to work, baby. You know what I mean? Yeah. I lost a little bit of time doing that bullshit for man to fall into the streets too. You feel me? You know, it, right, it happened to the best of us, man. I mean, now this is your time mm-hmm. to live, to, you know what I'm saying? Live, live, live from, uh, learn from that shit and live on. You know what I'm saying, move on from it. You know what I mean? You know, give my little couple of little county bids, no dumb light like shit. You feel me? And you feel me? The shit like my, my dad said with my uncle, you feel me? Like I was there when the shit happened. Like, you feel me? The shit yeah. was transpired the way it did. But, like, you know, it shook way all the way to, to we did. You feel me? Like, yeah. Yeah. Like said, don't you learn from this shit, bro? And move on. You know what I mean, don't let that shit get caught up. Get you caught up and keep continue on the same shit over and over again. You know what I'm saying, like, yeah. I know niggas actually that. You know, so people I see niggas come in inside in and out that gate mad times. Like niggas love to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Three, four times while I did one bid, bro. Exactly. So don't don't let that shit get you caught up. You know what I'm saying, and oh, this is wow. this is your passion. You know what I'm saying. I can talk to you like this. I know your little ass from back in the day. You know what I mean, yeah. you know, Snoop Dogg and shit. <laughs> so don't let that shit get you caught up, bro. This is your passion. Do your motherfucking thing, man. Go hard with it. Go ham. Know what I mean? That's this, what I'm this, this for. Right I'm like, I got tunnel vision right now. Like, mm-hmm. I want to do the music, but I just want the music because I already got love for music. Like my dad said, I was rapping big punk. I love all the old old Z's, Biggies, too. I listen to all that shit still. That like, I just love music. You feel me? Okay. I started learning how to produce a little bit myself. I shot my own video, did the whole thing myself. Like I'm trying to really, I want to do the music shit. So I, my face can out. venture out the different shit that I want to do. Like I want to get into real estate. I want to do all that shit, bro. Like I'm trying to get my mom up out of here. You feel me? Like, and I got my yeah. other two. You feel me? So like, I gotta make him proud too. And I got, I gotta do it for me too. And my uncle, like, absolutely, absolutely. You know what I mean, like I said. Make it, I'm saying, put together a plan, stick to it, and just and move on. You know what I'm saying, let that shit grow. You know what I'm saying, that shit is a, is a seed right now. You know what I mean, water that shit, nurture it, and let make that shit grow. You know what mm-hmm. I mean, but there's one so, thing that they, got, they gotta know. Everything that I spit is real shit. I really been out here, shit. Like I really done been through some shit. I'm not like these other niggas just talking bullshit, acting tough. I really spit real life shit, shit that I've seen, shit that I've been through. You can ask them, like. It ain't no bullshit and nothing that I say. Everything is real. Everything is my story. You feel me? Absolutely. I'm trying, to do. I'm trying to share my story. I'm not. I don't want people to take my music because some of my music does incorporate violence and shooting. And, you know, but I don't want that you see. Yeah, so that's it. I don't want them to take, take it as um, promoting that. That's right. just my experience. So I'm telling my story. So 
hopefully when I get to that platform, I could come back to my city for the youth and try and open doors that I never had for me with coming up in the town. You feel me? You knowing that shit out here for us, bro. Like, man, I, 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 I want to really do that. You feel me? That's what I want. That's what I want to do. You feel me? Like, Absolutely. Right, no doubt. Well, listen, man. Anytime, I mean, you know, hit me anytime, but your dad got my info, you know what I'm saying? Where hit me, man. You need help with anything? Holler at me, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you throwing me on for real. No doubt, no doubt. This is this is all about, man. This is why I do this. I love this shit. You know what I mean? I promote you, you people like yourself and your dad. You know and I mean, let people know it's motherfuckers out there that comes from the streets, you know what I mean, that been through shit that's making better choices in their life and doing better things. You know what I mean? Like writing motherfucking Dope ass fucking books and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This, this shit right here, I'm talking about right here. You know what I mean? This shit like for bag money one. You know what I mean? This That's just the start, bro. Like <laughs> niggas already know. Like niggas already been through shit. Like I done had niggas die in my hands. Like shit, bro. It's, it's, there, it's man. tragic, man. It's tragic, you know, bro. I can't see myself in here forever, man. I'm like I'm bigger than the town. I'm, I'm too. Like ain't nobody out here that can fuck with me. Like for real, like. I'm bigger than this because they don't think the way I think just because you see how he think like mm -hmm. you feel me like I'm thinking way bigger than these niggas like these niggas just thinking about all that little bullshit getting bitches and money you feel me the money gonna come with it of course fame all that but my plan is so much bigger than just that like these niggas can't fuck me and they really not even talking shit that they doing like niggas even talking shit that they just fucking hear other new, other rappers talk about you feel me like right, right. Man, I remember, um it's crazy me and my man was just talking about that earlier today how a lot of these young rappers out here is dying because they talking that crazy shit you know what i'm saying they really they're really not about that life and yeah. niggas be testing them you know what i mean like media shit too that's why I don't, I don't do none of that social media shit like if a nigga post about me you feel me I, i'm gonna just like the shit or something i'm gonna give you that that if i ain't gonna comment i ain't gonna be for me because when i was locked up you feel me my boy that was on a baseball team, he he uh he fucked with a police bitch. So the police mm -hmm. bitch, she a regular little wagon bitch. She pulled up on some little shorty I was fucking with while I was locked up. Long story short, shorty cooked me on the phone. She like yo, da 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 da. Pulled up. She said, "Tell Juan J, watch what he posted because we watching because they was on me heavy, bro. They was on my dick because he wasn't doing shit." And I was out there, so like, fuck it, we can't get him. We gonna get him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you did. You just restarted. You feel me? Like, so yeah. Like that's why I don't really do all that social media shit, bro. I don't, I don't go back and forth. You use, use it as a tool, bro. You know what I'm saying that's what I use it for as a tool. You know what I'm saying to get to where you want to be at. Yeah, you know what I mean, fuck that, fuck all that extra shit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You know, do all that back and forth. Like it's something right, like right. Again, you feel me? But I'm on some positive shit, bro. Like I don't like. Trying to do something better and bigger. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. That's definitely what I'm talking about. You know what I mean, but look, man, we gotta wrap this thing up, man. But once before we go though, then what you tell me with your um, your, your, uh, they can find your music at real quick. Then I'm gonna let your dad give his shout outs and all that shit next. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I said, uh, on YouTube you can type in Juan J. It's Juan J. W. N. G. Two fourteen. The song's gonna pop up. You gonna see my face and shit. Like and subscribe to my channel. You feel me? You can find me on Facebook at Pablo Juan J with two E's. And you can find me on Instagram at bitch um I am underscore Juan J with just J. Okay. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah, one more thing too. He got that I'll beat though bitch shit for me because I <laughs> my mama. I told you, bro. Listen, I, I tried to explain to this boy how I got the name, right? It's a metaphor behind the shit. I tried to tell this nigga when you're in prison. Niggas identify you by the way you talk. Niggas from Trenton use the word bitch all the, all time. the time, bro. And, and and we, we know, we, listen, we know for that shit worldwide. You, yeah, that that. So now I came up with this, bitch. Since I'm from Trenton, I'm Pito, bitch. <laughs> it, means, it means I'm Pito from Trenton. <laughs> that bitch means Trenton. I'm Pito, bitch. Come on, I'm on G, bitch. That means bitch. I'm on G. Fuck me. <laughs> nah, but yeah, that's you know, that's mine. I'm Pito, bitch. I M P I. It's I M P I T O B I T C H. <laughs> you remember know I mean? looking at the back of the book? A word up. <laughs> I just noticed that shit. A word up. You might have the other one because I had I, this. This is the first um the first copies 
this was one of the first copy ones. I, I, I got it on there. Yeah, I'm P, uh, Instagram. I'm Pedo bitch, and they got the yeah. Pedo TV on there. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. it. Yeah, because you got the original copy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, because the new copies that I came out with, they got the um, it, it says stuff for black money. Oh, okay. You okay. The, the, the my and my the new Instagram the, the Instagram for this because see what I want to do is I want people to start following this this page my Instagram duffel bag money okay you know I me mean? um so that way you know they they can see when the next you know I promote it more on that page because that's my business page but exactly. if you want my original page you know see my craziness you can go on I'm Pito bitch <laughs> on and you know look at all my wild videos whatever. And um, oh, but Pito, that Pito like TV much. shit. <laughs> yeah, Pito TV. I got Pito TV on Instagram too. But you know, I stopped posting the crazy videos because they keep they keep smacking me, bro. People keep reporting my videos and oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, it's like I guess people don't like the action, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, listen, man. There's enough for action in this book, man. You know what I'm saying so. Don't go up. Make sure I go get this, man. Duffel bag money one. Yeah, you know I mean. And um, it's a trilogy, so we're on part two to come out. You said probably in October, well, right? I mean, I, I might drop it this summer. Man, it depends. Like I said, it depends on how I feel, bro. Like, yeah. Like I said, I, I got, I got. Um, as a matter of fact, I ain't mentioned this, bro. I had um got in contact with Terry Woods, and 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 she put me up on some game, bro. And I, I said, had you read her books while you was in prison. You read her books, yeah, bro. Yeah. And I heard she, she's she's the one that inspired me to do that. <clears throat> You feel me? A lot of people don't understand. Like reading her books inspired me to write my own book, and I got in contact with her. I, I like I'm in communication with her now. Like I, I, I easily text her, like hey, how you doing? Whatever. When she gonna hit back? So, um, we agreed to meet when I hit ATL. You feel me? Okay. So you know it's you know it, it, things are coming up, bro. Like you know I've, I've been reaching out with a few people. You feel me? And and the part and on his behalf too, though. Yeah, you feel me? That's one thing absolutely. I'm Definitely network with like, everybody. You feel me? Like I want to be. I don't want to be famous in my city. I want to be worldwide. You feel me? National. Exactly. I mean, yeah. you know, that's expand that shit. You know what I mean? yeah, you feel me? But yeah, and also, man, let them know, man. It's two hundred eighty pages in this book. It's tough to find it. That way, it made it the words smaller and more compressed, so you can get more read. Bro. Read now, yeah. A regular <laughs> book with not that that's because when you buy a regular book. It's actually twelve. Is a twelve font, which makes the words bigger, mm -hmm. and the story shorter. You understand what I'm saying? Gotcha. So if you got 180 pages on a twelve fonted book, you're not reading. You're only reading like six chapters out of my book. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> real talk. Not real talk. So, yeah. so, you know, but this is this was 30 chapters in this one. Um, the second book got 240 pages, and the third one following this one has got the third one got 100. 200 pages, and I'm working on part four now. Oh, so it's more than a... Because the trilogy... It's a trilogy, but see, I'm not going to name it. It's going to be... You're going to see what I'm doing, Bill. Okay, all right, all right. We, you see what 50 did with power, right? Huh? <laughs> you see what 50 did with power. Exactly, yeah, power book part right, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take two, baby. Uh, uh, point uh, whatever that shit called, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, I'm working on... A, it's, it's not going to be... It's not going to actually be part four, but it's going to be a throw-off as an extension of, of yeah the trilogy. Gotcha. yeah but yeah man all right that'll work that definitely work man i look forward to i'm saying reading the next one you know what i mean and i also look forward to um chopping up with you like i said with some other stuff that we got going on in the city i True. mean work and, and beyond the city you know what i mean but yeah, definitely, yeah. man i want to thank you for coming on the, on, the, on the show man chopping it up with me telling me your story man telling me your bro. story yeah you know i mean bro, i appreciate you big bro you know that we appreciate yeah. you putting us on. You feel me? Yeah, All right, man. You already know it's, it's my pleasure, man. I've been telling you to get you on, get you on here for a minute. It's just been, yeah. you know, running. Know what I mean? Let me just show but, you something real quick. That's good with you? Yeah, good. What you got? Nah, I'm just, that's so they see that shit. That's my Instagram. You feel me? Bitch, I'm YJ. Just so they right. need to see the face and shit. And that's Facebook right there. You feel me? All right, well, do me a favor. Put it in the comments so that they see it. You know what I'm saying? When you um, you come, I, I posted the, the the uh the link on your on your page, Pedo. So you yeah. put, it, put, it, put all that shit in the comments, all your links and everything. Put it in the comments so people see that. And I make mean, sure they follow right, it. Cool. That way, yeah. I can get it and I can share it as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Thank you all again for coming to the podcast, man. You want to shout outs real quick? Anybody want to holler at real quick before you get about here? Man, shout out to my shout out to my pops. So you feel me? Let me jump in a little bit. Shout out to you, big bro. Of course. 
Shout out to my uncle. Shout out to all my dad. Oh, and shout out to my real guys. You feel me? Shout out to my real supporters. Let the guys shout out. <laughs> shout out to everybody. You feel me? You know that. Man, I'm just, I just want to shout out all the hustlers out there, bro. Whether you, you know, you, you selling fucking bootleg clothes, bootleg bags, and real shit, man. Hell <laughs> yeah. All, your money. all I got to say is, man, just stay motivated and don't let nobody stop you from um, doing what you want to do, bro. You feel me? Because I'm not letting nobody stop me doing shit, bro. That's you know? So, you know, just shout out to everybody out there. Shout out to the town. You feel me? Shout out to Global Unlimited. Let me so with y'all know the shit, bro. You already know this 214 permanent mm-hmm. hustle should with no way, you feel me? No doubt, no doubt. Man, look, man, I've uh, had a ball, man, taking the band memory lane, chopping up with you, man. But I'm gonna holler at you next time, though. When I say when that part two drop, we'll get you back on here, man. Gotcha. Talk about part two. <laughs> say that. Uh, no doubt. My All right, bro. My All right. Easy. Right. Peace. 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 Yo, man, Global Unlimited Podcast, man. It's your boy, Just, man. As always, another dope interview. Man, shout out to my man, Pedo, you know what I'm saying? His son, uh, Young G. You know what I mean? Oh, man, it's always it's always some some dope shit, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all pick up this book, man. You know what I mean? Duffel Bag Money, you know what I mean? Part one. So make sure y'all go ahead and, and pick that up, you know what I'm saying? So you got to support that. You know what I mean? Support all our, all our people's out there that's doing their thing, you know what I'm saying, independently, you know what I'm saying, coming up, you know what I'm saying, working hard and, and, and doing different stuff in, in, life, in their life, not just stay like but other people's lives to inspire them to do better. You know what I'm saying, that's, that's what it's all about, doing better and being better. You know what I mean? And just keeping that, that whole, your dreams, your dreams, your aspirations, you know what I'm saying, keeping all that shit alive and pushing. You know what I mean? That's what it's all about. But, yo, know, give my shout outs real quick to the family, the wife, the kids, everybody supporting everything I do. You know what I'm saying all the followers. You know what I'm saying all the fans and everybody. Love y'all. You know what I'm saying thank y'all for uh, watching, tuning in as always. You know what I mean, but man, this your boy Just Man. About to get about it here. You know what I mean, I'll let y'all on the next one. You know what I mean. So just stay tuned. Global Unlimited Podcast. It's your boy Just, and I'm out. Peace.